All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a video that I've done in the past, but I'm doing it a little bit differently. And I wanna redo this video because new products have come out since the last time, as well as prices have changed. Unfortunately, some for the worse, but some for the better. So this is going to be a budget arsenal video and our budget today is $1,000. What can you get or what I suggest you get for $1,000? A lot of people starting into the gun world wanna pick up high value and budget items, find my channel because I do a lot of high value and budget item reviews, especially in the firearms industry. So I'm really excited to kind of put together a list of two to three guns you can get for $1,000 and I'm gonna do a main list of what I would personally suggest and use. Then I'm gonna give you some alternates. In the past, I've given you like one or two alternates. Today, I'm actually gonna give you a lot more different lists of things you can get. Kind of show you guys, talk about them, and talk about where you can find the best deals. Now, if you like any of these guns, at the end of the video, unfortunately, I can't link them in the description below, but I can post my campsite page. My campsite page is an aggregate site of all the best deals, and I make it really easy to find a lot of those deals over there. So definitely check out that campsite page, and a lot of this information will be readily available over there, taking you directly to a lot of these items. But again, unfortunately, I can't link them in the YouTube description. The other thing is I have a 704 Gear Facebook page. So you guys want to follow me over there. A lot of times I'll find deals and they're only going to be live for like 30 minutes, an hour, two hours before they sell out. You can be the first to get those notifications if you follow me on my 704 Gear page and jump on over there. Now all that housekeeping out of the way, let's take a look at this budget thousand dollar arsenal. And you're actually looking at a lot right here for a thousand dollars. The first thing I want to discuss is the kind of like the first thing I would grab. It's almost like the jack of all trades, and it would be the Palmetto State Armory Tagger. Now, this one has a custom laser engraved barrel, but I'm just talking about the base model dagger that you can find on their website for right around $299. A lot of times you can actually put one together a little bit cheaper than that if you buy the individual components like the $99 frame shipped and the slide shipped separately. They also have versions with, if you wanna bump up the price point a little bit more with RMR cuts or doctor's cuts for like the Vortex or Venom. So those are going to be a ton of options on their website, but this comes in at $299. This is great because it's a Glock 19 Generation 3 clone, so parts are interchangeable, holsters are interchangeable. This would be a great personal defense gun, a car defense gun, just a range planker, a fun gun. Like if I had to pick one gun and only spend 300 bucks, I think this would be the one, guys. I mean, this is what I'm picking right now out of my arsenal especially with the parts interchangeabilities, the reliability. In fact, this one actually went through a torture test where we dropped it on the ground a bunch, completely covered it in mud, dirt, fully submerged it in water, and this thing functioned amazing. Definitely take a, check out that torture test video. This is the actual slide that went through it. You can see where we even scratched it on rocks on that part of that torture test, and it held up great. I also did a thousand round review of the dagger with 100% function, no issues whatsoever. In fact, I've never had a failure with the dagger, so it's left me incredibly impressed, especially at that $300 price point or even a little bit cheaper if you pair it together. So this is going to be kind of the very first on the list. Now, the next gun I would grab if you're gonna spend that $1,000 over a period of time would be an AR-15. I feel like an AR-15 is an insanely versatile weapon system. You can add optics, lights, lasers, practically anything you want to your AR-15. You can also swap out calibers without buying a new gun by swapping out the upper assembly by removing these two pins. Now, because of YouTube's policies, I'm not going to do that, but it's insanely simple. And you can still find videos out there that talk about assembly and disassembly. And again, I want to focus on Palmetto State Armory. You may be wondering why this thing looks as bad as it does. And that's because we did a torture test on this Palmetto State Armory AR-15 twice. We dropped this particular one from 40 feet, yes, 40 feet in the air off a shooting tower. We threw it in the air and trap shoot it out, skeet shoot it out of the sky with birdshot. Then we set it up on a barrel and shot it with birdshot. And you can see all of those hits up close. We ran over it with a truck. We actually did a burnout over this with a truck, dropped it in mud, put dirt in the action, and this still works 100%. Nothing is broken. Nothing is walked loose on this gun. 
This thing is a tank and a beast, and you can actually buy the parts kit to assemble this yourself for right at about $3.99. A little bit more right now, I think it's $4.19, but a lot of times you can find this kit on sale for $3.99 or right at $400 or you can buy the upper assembly for about 350 and the lower assembly when they're on sale for about 125 or 119 for the blemished versions. So that puts this right at about uh, 470, but I'm gonna call it 450 to 470 because you can also buy the kit for 400 and buy a strip lower for $50. Again, all of the information will be over on my campsite page, taking you directly to the best deals and sales. But guys, that's going to be an amazing opportunity to get you a personal defense rifle. You can swap out with like a 300 Blackout 762 by 39 upper assembly, 6.5 Grindel upper assembly to hunt and even shoot out to 1,000 yards with with that Grindel. Or you can just shoot that readily, readily available uh, 5.56 five, ammunition. So that's going to be a solid option. You can mount the scope. A red dot the list goes on and on so when you're looking at this right here we are right at about 750 dollars for the pair which leaves us about 250. now that 250 i feel like is going to be best spent on a solid reliable shotgun and this is a mossberg maverick 88 and this one is the personal defense option with a eight round tube so this is great again for personal defense Trap shooting, skeet shooting, hunting, and the shotgun is incredibly versatile. You can put slugs or buck shots to take out big game or personal defense, or you can put bird shots or specialty loads in here to do a wide variety of applications that you simply can't do with other guns. And I feel like a shotgun is a great performer. A lot of times people in apartment complexes and things like that are worried about over penetration and rightly so. So you could load up something like here with like number four buck, which is going to be a really optimal home defense round in my opinion, enough to really cause some damage and really knock a lot of people. Uh, I think it's going to be a great option when it comes to personal defense and it doesn't over penetrate walls and things like that so number four buck and something like this eight rounds in the tube one in the chamber man that's a formidable home defense opponent and so that in a nutshell was kind of like my thousand dollar arsenal now here's where i want to start swapping stuff around and you say well i want something that's for concealed carry but also double as personal defense i'll never shoot a shotgun but i do like the ar-15 I really want a combo, and that's where I'd recommend the SIG P365 XL. This is extremely slim. I mean, ultra slim, and you can see it compared to the dagger. So it makes a much better concealed carry option than the dagger, but it holds a ton of rounds. Look at this guy right here, 12 rounds in the mag, uh, one in the chamber, 13 rounds of nine millimeter. They also have extended round counts and a wide variety of different magazines. This is going to be, um, recoiling like a full-size gun but slips in your waistband for concealed carry really nicely it also is the addition of the rail system up front like the dagger to attach a light for personal defense or home defense and then grab you an ar-15 and but that that's about it these go for about 550 unfortunately it's going to be a lot more and it's going to take the place of your shotgun so i'd still kind of run with this but this is a great option as well the other cool thing is if you wanted something for concealed carry and maybe home defense, but not quite as good because it doesn't have a rail system, is the Taurus GX4. Now, Taurus actually sent this particular model out to the channel, and if you want some more information on the Toro or Optics Ready version, American Pawn and Gun in Monroe, North Carolina sent that one over. But for the purposes of this budget video, we're going to talk about the base model GX4. I've seen this as cheap as $299. Again, if you want those deals, check out the campsite page. So this could knock out the dagger and be the same $1,000 price point but now you have a concealed carry firearm and potentially a personal defense firearm or a home defense firearm that's really manageable easy to control but unfortunately it doesn't have a rail system for a light the other thing is a lot of people just don't like to shoot shotguns the recoil is too heavy or they don't really have a need for them because they're using the handgun for personal defense they're using the rifle for basic all types of range shooting hunting and things like that and the shotgun just kind of sits in their closet. But the other cool thing, guys, I think a lot of people forget about is a really nice 22 long rifle. And this is the one I would pick, the Savage Mark II. I did some price searching. These sell for about 220. It's a bolt action rifle, insanely accurate, threaded heavy profile barrel. And you can run a ton of different rounds through this. And you can really go with the CCI stingers to pop varmints, or you can just load up a bulk pack for a bug out situation or plinking at the range and really dial in those shots and shoot on a weekend without breaking the bank. 
This is a great option to replace the shotgun. So again, grab that dagger for personal defense, your AR-15 and your 22, and this is a great um, three-gun option for a $1,000 arsenal. So I hope this gives you a ton of information about a wide variety of options that you can actually get under $1,000 and build you out a starter arsenal or your permanent arsenal. And if you guys follow the channel, you'll know I'm always doing budget reviews, deal reviews, things like that. So definitely subscribe if you want more information on deals and different arsenals. And let me know in the comment section below what you would change, what you think I messed up on, as well as what price range do you want to see next. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.